Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up to speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum just announced a brand new update for Luminar Neo with the Mark 1.3.0. In this video, first we're gonna go through the list of the updates, then we're gonna jump into the application and I will show you how to make sure that you have the most recent version and if not, how to install it. Finally, at the end of the video, we're gonna jump in Luminar Neo and I will show you where to find and how to use all the new features from this update. Now starting by looking at the list. This update, the 1.3.0, is heavily about the noiseless AI. It is a new paid extension for easily achieving professional results. Based on the deep photo analysis, Noiseless AI determines the level of noise in a photo and suggests one of the three noise reduction options. You will be able to choose between low, middle or high and you can apply those just by one click. You will also be able to adjust the noise reduction even further by using luminosity, color, detail and sharpness sliders. Along with the noiseless AI, update 1.3.0 brings plenty of minor improvements to Luminar Neo's usability, including color gradients in the warm slider in Relight AI and an update interface in the Edit tab. Other than that, Skylum fixed 13 bugs across the Mac and Windows versions of Luminar Neo, and if you want to see the full list of all the fixes, you should definitely visit the website of Skylum at skylum.com. Before we're going to continue, I want to tell you about some exciting news from Clever Photographer. We just released brand new Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle. This bundle includes over 721 new autumn elements to power up your Luminar Neo. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets to transform your autumn images in just a few clicks. Get it today with limited time offer and get it for the best price available before the season starts. Okay, so how do you make sure that you have the latest version and if you don't, how to update it? As you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo, I'm in the catalog module and from here what we need to do is to click on the Luminar Neo icon on the top left corner of your screen. When you click on it, it opens another menu and here you simply click on About Luminar Neo. This will open a new window and looking at it, you can see that I'm still on the version 1.2.1. So we need to update it. So let's close this and let's go back to the same menu. Again, Luminar Neo icon and here click on check for updates. It takes a second and then it gives us a message. A new version of Luminar Neo is available. Luminar Neo 1.3.0 is now available and you have the 1.2.1. So do you want to install it? Yes, we do. What we want to do is to click on install update. Now there is a chance that you will see this as soon as you open Luminar Neo. So then after that, just click on install update and follow the same steps. So let's click on install update. And the first thing it's going to do is going to download the whole update. As you can see, it's 4.5 gigabytes. So we give it a time and then we're going to continue. Once the update is downloaded and extracted, you will be prompted with another window asking you to install and relaunch the application. So simply click on the button and continue. When Luminar Neo opens again, you should be already on the new version. So let's double check that. We're going to do it the same way we done it to start with. So we're going to click on the Luminar Neo icon and then click on About Luminar Neo. Now looking at it, we are on the version 1.3.0 and we can start to use it. Okay, so we are back in Luminar Neo and it's time to look at the new features and tools. Once again, this update is heavily about the noiseless AI extension. So let's start with that. Now first, how to get it? First, you need to make sure that you own the latest version, which is at least 1.3.0. And after that, you can navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the little orange puzzle icon. This will open the extensions menu where you already have the HDR merged and next to it is the new noiseless AI. I already have it installed. 
However, for you, it should just say install, you click on it, and it will only take a few moments for it to be available in your application. Now, just a reminder, all of these extensions are paid features, and if you haven't got them yet, make sure that you click on the little buy icon you should see here, and then just get them on a Skylon website. Once the extension is installed, you can close this window, select this image, and move into the edit module by hitting E on your keyboard or clicking on the edit on the top of your screen. Now, first, let's start by looking at our main toolbar. Looking at it, we have a whole new section on the top called extensions. Inside of the extensions, we have the noiseless AI. Now, depending on the format of your image you're working on, if you're working on RAW file, it will say noiseless RAW. And if you're working on a JPEG, it will simply say noiseless AI. To activate it, you just need to click on it and it will open. Now, we have a full tutorial on how to use this tool already available on our YouTube channel. And we have a full mini course covering the noiseless AI extension in our Luminar Neo Masterclass. If you want to learn more about it, just follow the link in the description. But since we are already here, let's have a look at it. Starting from the top, we have a little advice here. So the application scan the image and give you advice on what setting you should use to get the most natural result. Looking at the image, it doesn't have too much of a noise, so it's suggesting you to use the low preset. Simply click on a button and it will start to scan the image and decide what is the best setting to remove the noise from it. When the scanning is over, it applies the noise reduction and it also zoom in to 100% so you can see easily the noise reduction and the noise. From here, you can still decide if this is enough or you can add more noise reduction by choosing between middle or high. So it's good to remember that the advice is just the advice and it's up to you what preset you want to use. For us, I think the low is looking good, so we can move on. Normally, if you would be happy with the result, you would just click on the top of the tool, close it, apply it to the image and continue with the edit. If you want more control over your noise reduction, you also have a four more sliders here. You have a two more noise reduction sliders, one looking after the luminosity, and one looking after the color noise. Simply by shifting these sliders towards the right, you add more noise reduction, and when you slide them towards the left, you remove it. After that, we have a choice between details and sharpness. If the noise reduction remove too much of one or the other, you can add more details by shifting the detail slider towards the right, and you can remove them by shifting it towards the left. Equally, if you wanna add some sharpness, you can use the sharpness slider and shift it towards the right to add some more and shift it towards the left to remove it. Don't forget that if you want to reset any of the sliders, you can just double click on their name and that will do the job. Once you finish, you close it, it will apply to the image and now you can continue. At this point, there is another reminder. Noiseless RAW and Develop RAW are development tools. And as such, they should be both used at the beginning of your editing process. Personally, I would always start with the noiseless row and then move on the develop row. Once you apply any other effect, they both disappear and they are moved into the edit, simply because the image isn't raw file anymore. So for example, if I will now jump into my landscape tool, click on it to open it, and then shift the golden hour slider, you can see that our develop row and noiseless row disappear and now we have the standard noiseless AI and develop tool. Now when you open the noiseless AI, it looks like a standard tool. You can use it together with masking and any other features that the other tools in Luminar Neo have. Again, close it to apply it and we can continue. When you go into the edits tab, you now have a whole new section for your raw edits. So this is where you're going to find your develop row and noiseless row. Once we go back, you can also have a look at your Relight AI, where in the advanced setting, you now have the gradient for the warmth near and warmth far. With some of the other updates, there are some updates for your layers and some other bugs fixed in the application. However, as I say, the update is mostly focusing on the noiseless AI, and I really hope that you're gonna enjoy it and that you're gonna try it on your own images. As always, if you have any questions, make sure that you write them in the comments 
and I will try to do my best to answer them as soon as possible. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.